Hi guys, Clean Dane fresh from the shower here and today I'm going to be making a start on my December book haul. So I have these two books that I got on the post today, I've treated myself to a few so I've got a few coming. I ordered Tony Hawk's The Fridge Hiker's Guide to Life, How to Stay Cool When You're Feeling the Heat. Tony Hawk's wrote a book called um, Round Island with a Fridge where he literally hitchhiked around Ireland with a fridge. He's had various other zany adventures that he's also written about and I guess this is essentially his guide to life. Um, but I've got all, this is like the last of his books that I um, I haven't read. There's, I do have one more that I haven't read that I own, but this is the last unowned one, except now I own it, so I'll get to that one soon. And then I've got Tao Lin, Bed. Um, I've read some Tao Lin before. He seems to be one of those writers that people either love or hate. He's very Marmite in that respect, but I fall on the side of love. Um, he's quite experimental, so I, even when I don't necessarily like one of his books, I like the way that he kind of approaches his work and the way that he sort of experiments with different ideas and stuff. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting to that one too. Just, all right guys, just the one book to haul for you today. That is Le Hobbit, well Bilbo Le Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. Uh, I thought that this had been sent to me in error by somebody that I bought something from on eBay. Uh, but it turns out Charlie, Charlie Heathcote sent it to me, so thank you Charlie. Uh, go and check out Charlie's channel if you haven't already. And I will be reading this shortly as a bedtime book to improve my French. I enjoyed the opening line, which is, Dans un vivez un hobbit. Hello, hall time. If I look down nervously, it's because the cat's down there and he's in a bit of a, one of his moods, you know? I'm scared he's going to attack me. I've got some books in the post, um, so... I think I already told you about those two. So here we have Master of Reality by John Darnell. John Darnell is the lead singer of the Mountain Goats, who are one of my favorite bands. Uh, he puts a lot of content out on YouTube as well, uh, so I like to kind of keep up with him there too. But uh, yeah, I've read one of his previous books before, and I enjoyed that one, so I'm gonna give this one a go. Uh, it's from Bloomsbury. I've gotta be honest, it looks self-published. I'm kind of surprised it's from Bloomsbury. It looks very self-published, like the interior layout looks self-published and everything. Uh, and then I got Terry Pratchett in his own words, a slip of the keyboard, reflections on life, death and hats. Pratchett is one of my uh, favourite authors of all time. I've read most but not all of his books and this is just me again ticking off those last few. Alrighty Roo, uh, I have some books to talk to you about that uh, I've received in the post. So here we have Petit Manuel pour Alice le Pot. Uh, which I assume means like little book for going to the potty <laughs> by uh, Paul Batal and Anuku Kar. Uh, sans couche, la vie est plus belle. Wait, without without sleep, life is better. Encore plus vie, on so plus haut. Oh, okay. Tout le monde fait pipi et caca. All of the all of the world does pipi and poo poo. Les papas, the dads. Les mamans. The mums, les chiens, les oiseaux, et même les poissons, mais ce ne se voit pas. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty good. Okay, so it says the dogs, the birds, and even the fish, but you can't see that. Uh, right, what else have we got? Okay, I got this from the art centre. They put on a, a, a play of this probably about 18 months ago. It was before I joined, I didn't actually get to see the performance. Um, but there is still the sign for it knocking around uh, out the back, so I, I, you know, I knew that they'd done it. And as we've been tidying around and doing some work in the bars and stuff, things have been moving around and things have been rediscovered, including a little stack of these. So this is Accidental Death of an Anarchist by Dario Fo. We have a few of these in the, uh, in the staff room. So I'm kind of bummed I didn't see the play, but I am totally up for reading the play. So uh, that will be read soon as well. Okay, then we have A Daughter's A Daughter, Agatha Christie writing as Mary Westmacott. So, Mary, Mary West, Mary Westmacott was Agatha Christie's pen name when she wrote these kind of more romance-focused novels. And, um, yeah, I finished reading all of the ones that she published under her own name. So, I only have the Mary Westmacott ones to go now. I'm not really a big romance fan, so, you know. But, um, on the plus side, I know that my Uncle Carl has read all of the Agatha Christie books, but not the Mary Westmacotts. So I figure if I read these as well, then I beat him. Um, not that it's a competition, but if it was a competition, I'd be winning. And I don't know about Mara, uh, Mara from Books Like Woe. I don't know if she watches my videos, but if she does, Mara, have you read any Mary Westmacott? Let me know. Buddy Reed, anyone want a Buddy Reed? 
Uh, and then we have, this was a Christmas present from Susie. This is Olga Takarczuk. I don't know if I said that right. Drive your plow over the bones of the dead. This is the winner of the Nobel Prize in Literature, uh, translated from Polish. And I'm not sure where I saw this. I think I saw it on BookTube. Um, I think I saw someone talk about it. And it just sounded incredible. I'll actually read you the blurb in a second. Um, the book's quite interesting as well because, so it's published by, um, who's it published by? Mm -mm -mm -mm, lots of praise. Fitzcarraldo Editions, which I've never heard of. Um, so that in itself is kind of cool. Translated by Antonia Lloyd-Jones. Okay, um, chapter two is called Testosterone Autism, so that's a good start, isn't it? Uh, drive, your drive Your Plow Over the Bones of the Dead by Olga Tokarczuk. Translated by Antonia Lloyd-Jones. In a remote Polish village, Janina Dzieszko, an eccentric woman in her 60s, recounts the events surrounding the disappearance of her two dogs. She is reclusive, preferring the company of animals to people. She's unconventional, believing in the stars. And she is fond of the poetry of William Blake, from whose work the title of the book is taken. Yes, I remember that now. When members of a local hunting club are found murdered, Zesesco becomes involved in the investigation. By no means a conventional crime story, this existential thriller by the Nobel Prize in Literature laureate offers thought-provoking ideas on our perceptions of madness, injustice, against marginalised people, animal rights, the hypocrisy of traditional religion, belief in predestination, and caused a genuine political uproar in Poland. I mean, that just sounds, that just sounds, that just sounds good, right? Ra 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 ra. Today, I have a cat to haul for you guys. Hey, no, Mickey, I have a cat to haul. Yes. You're gonna say hello to the nice people. Oh, you're gonna flop. Oh, oh, Biggie. Oh. <laughs> I only have one thing to haul for you today. Uh, this is something that Fran, my colleague at the Art Centre, got for me. I'm very excited. She got me a copy of Wreck This Journal by Kerry Smith. So I'm going to be starting to wreck this journal. This is a very important part of the video that apparently I forgot to shoot. So here it is again. This is the outro. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know if you've read any of the books that I picked up in December by leaving me a comment. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon in another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.